everybody and a happy weekend how are you doing hopefully everyone is doing well and i'm back with mixed daily training and let's go hopefully everyone is okay oopsie daisy what's up everybody hi karma happy weekend what's how are you doing Okay, let's see. So Novi Bor seems to win the match. Two and a half. Grandelis seems winning. Then David Anton. Wait, what? Ah, no, that's transmission error. Okay. David Anton is fine. Navarra won. And Kaimer is drawn. Yeah, I'm doing great as well. Thank you. Then offer spill Tari. Yeah, Tari. Terry didn't have the best game of his life. Pranav was winning. Now it's equal. Yeah, he was plus three. Hansen drew and Urkedal is equal. Blends Ferran 1850. This is the guy that didn't win two days ago. Good luck. It's from I don't know. Here I go this, I go this, bad English, my bad, I go here, or I do this, I, my, I'm usually messing up many words, okay, takes, takes. And here. Huh. I guess bishop b3. Suppose I'll take. If takes, I'll take. If gf, I mean, this cannot be good. If queen of 3, I'll take, 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 take. I'll be a pawn up. Takes. Takes, takes, he creates an isolated pawn, okay, let's go here, maybe alongside castle even, uh, to add, to target it, and I think I'll short side castle, because alongside, ca I wanted bishop of six, but then knight e4 would be with tempo, alongside castle, I don't know, it just looks a little off, my knight from g6 isn't playing, perhaps let's play rook b8, Seeing what he does with the pawn on b2, goes here. Okay, let's play a five a four. The bishop is placed well, so let's disturb it from being placed well. <laughs> and then perhaps f3, something like knight h4, d4, maybe a weakness. I like that. But actually, Urkedal can have some chances because Shevchenko is in time trouble. So this can be interesting. Tari lost. But Deak played interesting 1a3. Uh, okay, he goes here. So if f4 is going to be met by bishop f2. Let's go here. Because f4 won't run away anywhere. But maybe I will keep f forces as place for my knight to bring it back to game. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here, some tiny threat. 
the bishop of two now have knight f4. Also, c5 can be an interesting idea, I suppose. Hold on. Mm. Let's continue. Rook b8. Rook b8. If this, I think I can take. Or I can at least play d5. If rook d5 should be fine there somehow. If knight d5, I can take rook d5. Or I can play bishop c3 as well. Oh, wait a sec. After d5, I simply have knight e5. Rook somewhere, knight f3. Then this is hanging. And this is hanging. So you go skin f1. C5 doesn't make any sense. Ah, D3. Here's D takes C. Okay. No minus for some good things. And perhaps bringing the king over. Because it gives him e for square for his knight and also takes away f for square for my knight. That's why I don't want to play f4. d5, knight d5 still. It goes knight d4. I mean, that makes sense. The idea is knight c5. But now I get rook d5 myself. Rook e d8 put him more pressure. Now let's do rook d5. Why not? Active pieces are always good. Knight c5, okay. I mean, I suppose I have this, this bishop d4. At the same time, I suppose that I don't have that. Perhaps a5 or something. But yeah, should be fine. The pawn, I don't see how he will attack it. Because rookie 3, rookie 3, bishop d4 is an interesting line. Okay, he goes here. He gives me the f4 square for my knight. Okay. But then rook d2. Hmm. But if we go bishop e7, trade this. Interesting, but I don't know. I'm not sure if it's great. Putting pressure. I'll play here, putting pressure on d4. As I said, knight f4, I have it almost all the time. H has fanatic. But now perhaps some sort of a threat can be bishop e7 taking the knight. Oh, Jordan, yeah, but it's really complex position. So Buddy Pranav may win this. Okay, he goes g3, preventing knight f4. Okay. Bishop e7. He has to go somewhere and then like knight e5. Yeah, let's try it. Why not? See what he does. Maybe I can play like h5. It's really hard to break through. But I think the best bet is trying to create practical. Yeah, perhaps h5 now. Idea is h4, then open the h file for my rook. If h4, he, if he plays h4, then f4 already. So just gonna try to create some inconveniences for him. It will be unpleasant to, to play. And then maybe at some point he will melt under, pre under the pressure. Uh, okay. H4, why not? I mean, if G4 cannot, I take, 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 then take, take, knight E5, knight G4. I mean, that looks like a pawn to me. And then also this is hanging, and this is hanging, so. Yeah. Okay, it goes to G4. 
Uh, this is a very, very straightforward line. Not sure if I'm gonna go for it still. I can think. I think I can still think for it a bit. Mm -hmm. Take to take knight four, knight g four. Here's bishop of four. I have knight of six, knight d five. My pawns are weak, so I'm not sure if winning a pawn there is even worth it. Hmm. Okay, let's go rook e eight. Yeah, I mean, it's a very straightforward line, and I'm not sure. Maybe I am better, but uh, he gets a super active king. These pawns are weak. If he takes a5, he has a passer. I didn't like it there. what he does here. I can take knight e4. Oh. Have to take and I suppose knight e4. I missed that. But okay. I can go rook d8, rook d5 again. <laughs> yeah, but that's not great to give the open that big. Hold on, bishop d6. Take... Mm. I don't know. I can go something like this, I think in that, but... Bishop d6? This? Here, there. I like bishop d6, honestly. Sure, I give away the bishop, but then I want to play like knight e7, knight d5, perhaps, activating, centralizing my knight. It's a dubious, I think, decision, but it's interesting, in my opinion. Oh, we had bishop g5. Okay, whoa, he doesn't take bishop f4 for sure. Not knight f4, but bishop f4. And I want to take it and bring, put my knight on f4. There will be a super strong piece. And also what's good, last game he played without thinking, but now he's thinking at least for... Quite some time. Okay, I'm thinking to take. Should I? Yeah, I think so. And at the worst case scenario, I can bring my knight from d5. But I think. Yeah, knight f4, rook c6. Check in e2. Hmm. Not sure. <clears throat> I'm playing knight e7, he has rook c5, knight d5, king e2, knight f4, then rook c5, knight h3. Yeah, I think I'll do something like this. This is a threat, so perhaps, I, I, I suppose he'll play rook c5. Would be weird if he won't, but we'll see. <clears throat> Perhaps I can play like knight d5, rook e6, rook g6, or something. This line, I think he gets this. Go here. You're skinny too now. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, what if I play rook d8, applying pressure to this pawn, that he, he cannot move his d rook? Let's try it. Rook c5, I think I'm gonna trade the rooks and get my knight to d5, so it can go to f4, or like b4, c3. Okay, yeah. DC, I take 
should be better. A knight c5, knight d5, knight f4 threats, rook e8 threats. I think that's good. Uh, okay, just making sure. Should I play like knight d5? Take, take, knight d5, knight f4. I mean, this looks exciting. Knight d5, this threats. Perhaps maybe this. Okay, knight f4, he goes here. What if I... What if I bring my king to play? This looks nice. Get in the king to g3. King d3, get knight b4 check. And also I love the location of this knight. It's preventing b4. Maybe after b4 I'll play a4 because ab he may have some a4 stuff. Skinny so five. In d3, then I have knight of four check. It's in, I like the position here. Sure, his knight is in the center, but I don't think it does as much as my knight. If knight c3 do, okay, wall. Wow, why would he play that here? Now he never gets b4. What's the idea? Knight c3, knight e2, or what? Perhaps, actually. Huh, this is weird. Uh, no, but I'll go king f4. I don't want to play knight f4. No, I go king f4, and then I want to take this. I get king e2. I don't have king g3. Oh my gosh. Uh, but then what if I play knight b4? Whoa. I have many questions. Why is what he's doing? Okay, king f3. Knight c3 will go knight b4, of course. I'm not trading this knight. Yeah, right, knight c3, king c3, g5, b4, take, take, g4. Oh, maybe I'm winning by fours there. Hold on. This is b4, king b4, g4, h3, g5, h2, g6. Hold on, maybe I'm just winning by fours. This is this, g5, b4, take, take, g4, this, a5, h3, h6, h2. No, but if I don't waste tempo, g5, h2, g6, this. Yeah, this is just winning, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I am mistaken, but g5, g4? King d2, g4. Yeah, here I take g4, a5, g8, h6, h7, a7, h... Okay, he, we promote at the same time, but I like... Okay, he goes for it. Yeah, I think that's the only hope. Um, this... Yeah, takes... I have a passer as well. It's nice. Push. Push. Uh, okay, now how do I win this? Check shouldn't hurt, I think. Another check. Oh, he goes. He goes on an adventure with his king. Check. Check, check, and don't I win the pawn? Not sure if that's my top priority, but I think I do. That will be nice to keep a, a, a pick up a pawn on the way. Yeah, but I'll, I'll check and then take the pawn with check as well. Takes. Okay. Um. Now I think I can push. He won't have any checks. Queen of eight and queen e three is protected by my queen. Yes, he goes here. Okay, for example, check, and then king g2, or king g3, and a push. Okay, he goes here, but he blocked all of the checks he can he could give, possibly. King g2. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think I go king g2. Should be good. If this, I think I push. 
and takes if King G1 yes no more checks. If Queen E2 something like King H3, okay goes here. There is no Queen trade. Check. Okay, he goes no, but that's a queen trade. Yeah, I'm happy with this game and doing great, me lot. Just played a very, very nice end game grind. You know the name Ferran 1850. What about yourself? Yeah, I'm happy with this game. I love how I slowly put pressure. Things okay. Uh, thanks, Karmar. Yeah, that was a great game. Yeah, rook c5, dc, he had to keep the knight, uh, he had to keep the rooks, because now, and yeah, a4 was a terrible mistake, in my opinion. He should have at least tried something like this. Just like, wait. Sure, I have knight a4, but some breakthroughs are scary, you know? I play like 3 nil nil or 4 nil nil. That's a good game, actually. Yeah. Thank you, Milot. Very happy. 3 nil nil for the whole game, which lasted 58 moves. Pretty good. Oh, Buddy Pranav got flagged, but of course it's a uh, broadcast lag. Okay, puzzles. Whoa. Okay, what if I simply go 95? <coughs> 95? This hangs, this hangs. What? Okay. Oh, do I give a check and after king h8 go bishop e4, queen d6, take, 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 and then take the pawn? This lich has no, lich has doesn't. Lich has does not. Yeah, in this game I'm happy that this guy actually saw it because last game we played, I got a win position, but like I had a minute and he had like six minutes. And here he was. Well, not the other way around, but I had much, much more time than he did. So I'm happy about that. Yeah, Novi Borbon. Quite, quite in a good style. Keimer, Keimer winning. And how is body pronoun doing? Oh, he's thinking. He's still thinking, okay. Then Fedor save Drew. Urkedal. Urkedal is better. Offerspill may actually win the match, chat. This is crazy news. He still, Urkedal still has to win it. But they may. They might. If if Buddy wins, if Urkedal. I'm gonna go Bishop H7. Yeah, he goes here. Uh, but now don't I go here? Take Queen H. No, it was 95 Queen H7. Oh my god. I get it, the right idea, but oh my goodness. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Queen D5. If E4 can't I unperthon? I have Queen G5 as well. If Queen E4 he gets Queen C6. That is not great. Suppose so queen e5 is my top pick. Oh my god! Why puzzle so annoying today? Why am I so stupid? It's all with them. Ah! Help. What? Where do you go? Queen d5 is starting in mate. Ah! No, I, I last week I, I'm, solving, I'm solving puzzles terribly. I don't know what happened. But like, I don't know. Yes, but he has queen c6. Ah. Yeah, I'm tilting in puzzles. Off stream, one stream, I don't know what's going on with me. Off stream, I also lost like a hundred rating points. Here, almost like a hundred rating points. I don't know what is going on. Perhaps I'm thinking too quickly, I don't know. Honestly. Ah, Urkeda lost the advantage. So then, offer spill. Main, most likely won't get a win. If Buddy Pranav wins and they get a draw, but it's unlikely that 
I will get that body will win, so it's interesting. <sighs> Do you go king of fate? The queen hangs, queen c7, rook b2. I honestly don't know, but it feels good. Oh no, why does the puzzle go? Oh no! Why does it continue? No, okay, you do I just bring my knight? Yes, plus five. Oh, and it was a pending puzzle. No. Okay, I have to take h6, no? Yes. <laughs> At least I found the first move without mixing up the move order. That is progress, chat. Do I simply take queen g5 and play king g7? No! Oh my god, why do I have so many puzzles? Queen g5 is such a brilliant see. Queen g5, king g7. Three pieces. Pastor. Ah! I don't know. Like, it's such a puzzle-like move. Like, literally, why? Why is it not good? Who would go for this? Like, literally, who would play king on h5? Oh my gosh. Okay. The puzzles say... Uh, I, I didn't like the most. But now maybe I do like the most them the most because... You can just randomly guess the move. Okay, is that king c7, I think? Is that king 7 I think? It's either king 5 or king 7 I think. Hey, Jonathan, thank you so much. I played my first tournament in five uh, years in seven hours. Any OTB advice? What am I supposed to break in place of, in place of the mouse? You're, you're supposed to break your opponent. Not, not physically, but on the chessboard. Thank you, by the way, for 250 bits. Uh, so first of all, I wish you good luck, Lorgan, and don't stress it, um, don't be nervous during the games, it's an advice, try to just not think about the result and just try to play the best moves, and yeah, I suggest just try to have fun, and focus on finding the best moves instead of result. And the result will come. And yeah, once again, good luck and thanks again for 250 bits. I mean, I suppose king 7 because who would go king 5 Thank goodness it is correct. Yes, now I take, right? Yes, I solved the puzzle. Oh my god, chat. I didn't fail a puzzle. Which wasn't pending. That was it's so rare. Is just try to crush everyone and I know that you can so and try to have fun as well <laughs> guys wish Logan luck everybody come on everybody good luck Logan in the chat come on okay if this this there is queen c5 there is queen d4 But I suppose I have to take the bishop, because what else do I do then? Do I just give away a rook? Like, take my rook for free. I don't want anything in it. Just take it and don't don't complain or what? Ah! Why? Like, why could I take h7 first? Ah! No, I don't know. Uh, I loved puzzles so much before. In like past week, I literally, I don't know like what happened, but I just really don't like puzzles now. I don't know what, what happened in me, but I just really dislike puzzles now. I don't know why. It just seems so annoying. It's like this is so weird. I hate move orders and... Yeah. I don't know, rook A to rook A1, chat. This is so visible, right? The difference. <laughs> the difference is very... I mean, I suppose it's rook A8. This, this, I have check. And if he takes king B1, I get H1. Because if this rook B8 check, queen B8, I get rook B1. But he gets king C2 and I have no more checks. So, I suppose it's check. I suppose it's check. I suppose it's another check. And I suppose I take... 
Oh no. Oh, do I? Oh, wait a minute. No, but I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, yes. If this is queen g6, there is perpetual. I at least see that. I'm not so blind. But what do I play then? Is a good question. I oh, know I don't just play rook c6. Yeah, I think so. I saw the puzzle and I get plus five, and when I fail, I get minus 12. <laughs> Suffering. Okay, but Rook has some chances. 0 0.5, and it's challenging for Shevchenko to play. I mean, this pot is here, you know, it's scary. And Buddy Pranav went for the Queen C3. He sort for like, how much did he think? Yeah, King H2, Queen H5. He is better, but he was plus two at one point, and mm, somewhat messed it up. But still, it's uncomfortable for Jordan to play. So Buddy can win this still, I think. I mean, I think I take an. Ah, yeah, he goes here. Uh, 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 and do I go check and rook f1? And then f e threat? Oh my gosh! Why? Like, literally, why not queen e check? <laughs> like, it's bishop is but that's ridiculous. Can f6 like get rook f1? How isn't this winning? I don't know. <sighs> like, like, like the same, the same move, the same idea, but uh, I don't know. I, I just can't. I'm tilting so much in puzzles. I'll fall out of 3800 perhaps if I don't get myself together. Okay, I have to give a check, right? I mean, yes. Here, even move order can mess it up. And here, yes. What now? He wants to mate me. Do I just go here, rook g8, preventing mate? I mean, it looks logical, doesn't it? I can play queen c1 in advance. Mm. Oh, wait, I can play queen of c, queen h3, and then d2. This looks nice. Oh my goodness, a puzzle maker plus 8. Let's go! Never thought that would happen. Okay. Take, take this, this. Uh, 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 uh. I mean, I'm pretty sure you have to take, but I'm not, not going for it yet, just in case, you know, just in case. Knight g5 against knight c4. Oh, what if I go here? King of h, king e7. Uh, knight c5. No. But if I go rook d4 first, though, bringing his queen, I mean, if his queen is there, then it's fine. But suppose he has queen a3. Oi, buddy pronounced mistaken. No, he has no advantage. Yeah, the no first spill. Unless Urkedal somehow miraculously wins, the no first spill loses the match. Uh oh. Okay, knight g5. No, oh wait, knight g5. He cannot take us. Yeah, knight g5. He couldn't take us knight of seven, and then the queen is falling. Uh, and now I think I go here, here, here. No! I go rook d4, knight of seven. Ah! Yeah, I have to take. Uh, what now? I mean, rook f3 makes sense. I attack the pawn and I defend the pawn at the same time. But I'm not sure. Can be rook h6. If king c3 I take, king c4 I bring the king over this should be winning. And if he goes king, nee, and if he goes king b3, eh, 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 eh. Oh my god, can I draw arrows? Uh, yes, king b5, king of 6, king b4, king e5, 
3 can you 4 a2 this is a draw okay so look at 3 h2 here h1 if h1 take this i get root b1 and if h1 this i get root b1 as well so rook f3 h2 here here this doesn't work king b3 i get king b3 i get king f6 king a3 c4 z c b king e5 king e4 king e4 mm. okay okay yeah it just felt like it has to be at least the correct start, you know. This, 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 this. I don't know about that actually. It's like take, take, king of six, b4, c4. Sure, yes, king bc, and that's most likely a draw. Uh, what do you. No, rook h5 doesn't work which two okay so king of six most likely is correct this this king b2 king d yeah this oh my god why am i so bad at solving puzzles i i don't know like what is going on with me like last two or three days uh, i don't know i like I just fail every second part, every, every, if I solve a puzzle correctly, it's a miracle. I don't know why, how and why this happened. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Like, here he gets a check, here he gets the same check, here he gets this check, here he gets this check, here he gets this check. That's all. Everywhere he has checks. <laughs> I just didn't see a difference. Oh, and here he also gets a check. Like all the legal moves, he has a check. Okay, king f8 looks terrible, king g8 looks terrible, king h7 looks terrible, king g6 looks terrible as well. That's leaving me with king h6 and king f7, but king h6 also looks terrible and king f7 also looks terrible. Like, wh what can be the move? Yes, there is a six king moves. Here he gets a check. Do I make him check and then here? And then hide? I don't know. Okay, now where? King here, here, here. <gasps> I didn't fall out of 3800 chat. One day they fall on the way to cheer. <laughs> Okay, I just want to push f5, f4, f3, f2 and mate him. Uh, and honestly, it feels like nothing can stop me. Do I go fg rook b8? Yeah, rook b8, rook f8. No! Move order! Again, move order! Ah! Literally, I wanted to do the same idea, rook b8, rook f8, rook f2, but I won't move order. <gasps> he gets rook f4. Uh. Uh, and I fall out of 3800. Okay, I have to solve this puzzle. I, I need to be in 3800. This is a ne necessity for me. If I'm not, I can retire. Okay, king h3, I mean, what else? King, king h1, I'm getting mated. Uh, I also have this. Okay, queen d2, queen trade looks ugly. No. Bishop d2 looks also ugly, honestly. I'm pinning my bishop, bishop d2 also. King g3 is an option. He has no checks, but I don't know why. He has bishop e5, queen e5. Uh, I don't know why, but this feels not good. 
yeah, one forest find the draw, found the draw, and Urkedal is also draw. Okay. I mean, for me, it makes sense that King H3 is the best move, but of course, it's gonna be King G3, and if I go King G3, it'll be King H3, you know. Uh, That's how life is. But I really don't see a difference. These are good. King G3 just runs under some more checks. But this also runs under a check. And I'm not sure you where, where am I hiding? Where am I hiding? I'm gonna go King H3. And of course it's King G3. Like, come on! Like, come on, this is... This is uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm suffering here. Once puzzle solving was my favorite thing to do. Now I hate puzzle solving. Like, I don't know why. In in the week, I I, I just I just I, I don't know. Hmm. Do I play rook f four or e seven first? Again, a decision to has to be done. I mean, e7 looks weird, but I, I can say, okay, after e7, he has rook f8. So e7 now? Oh! oh, my god. Okay, now with what do I take? With the rook or with the king? Okay, with the king, I think I'm giving him a perpetual. So I will take with the rook. Oh, plus five chat! Oh my god, let's go. Okay, it has to be queen b2. It just has to. Um... Queen b4, bishop d4? Hold on. Hey! Okay, one more. I want to get back to 3800. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, I love puzzles all the way now. Since we say it in puzzles, and then there is no chess before. <laughs> so you'll get the dark side. <laughs> no, but I like puzzles when I solve them correctly. <laughs> Because that's all the puzzle. I, I, I'm feeling the, the, the love of the puzzles is coming back, you know? <laughs> Probably if I fail this puzzle, I'll hate puzzles again, you know? <laughs> now I want to solve two puzzles in a row where you quickly really love puzzles again, chat. My, my love for puzzles is back again. <laughs> but if I fail the puzzle, I will, I will quit puzzles forever. <laughs> Oh my god. I love puzzles when they are easy. I don't like puzzles when yeah, draw everywhere. So super chess is uh Yeah it's a good training but it's an annoying training. Especially, especially, literally two moves which are the same. Like you think, and like, why I could solve more puzzles, but that would require me to think more. But then it could, I could think for 10 minutes about one puzzle and then I still won't find it and I would just uh, fail. I'll tilt and I don't want that. Uh, but realistically, I will never get this position in chess, realistically. Exa this exact position, I will not get it at all. Okay, 95, bishop. I had this puzzle for sure. I remember that I had it. <sighs> In 95, bishop f2, what now? Rook d8. I don't know. And this bishop is annoying. Because, for example, in a sample line of this, this is queen of two, king h3. Rook h8, yes, bishop h4. <sighs> oh. 
Uh, that's why I'm thinking I'm considering rook dg8. Yeah, I'll go for it, whatever. <laughs> why don't you take king g3? Like, why not even test people out? Why do you play some stupid bishop a6? Like, why not try? Okay, rook d8. But you are try like, 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 you, you had to test people until rook g4, come on! You had to test people... Oh, I had this puzzle! Hold on, this is an easy puzzle, if I fail it, it's not good. It's a super easy one. Here, 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 bishop h3, right? I think so. Plus 11, I'm back at 3800, I don't care. I lost like 50 amazing points today, I don't care, I'm back at 3800. This is progress. This is progress, chat. Okay, now let's play against Komodo. Oh, and get five pieces. Nice. Eleven failed. <laughs> but still, it's annoying in puzzle solving also. I think about like, for five minutes about one puzzle. One puzzle. Oh gosh, no. Don't go for... What is the annoying thing? No! Where is the handshake agreement, buddy? We agreed. Yeah, bishop d3. Like... You think for five minutes, you get plus five! You see some ghosts in the next puzzle, you fail it, you get minus 15! Like, I don't know, in my opinion, this... Speed system with rating system. Oh, I almost blundered. I, 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 I just don't like it. Like, like, really. It's just... You spend five minutes of your life, then you mouse sleep, and then you have to spend ten more minutes of your life just to get back to the rating you lost by a mouse sleep. That's what I just don't also makes me tilt because like you you solve a super hard puzzle you just think then you lose this time bo speed bonus and you get plus five the very next puzzle you fail it you get like minus 13 minus 15 or something and then you just still think okay c5 i'm a pawn down but i think i have a decent compensation for it at least I hope I have a decent compensation. Bishop c4 putting pressure on e6. Okay, here bishop e bishop f6, rook d7 ideas. Alright, rook d6. I can play a5, a4, a5, I suppose. is interesting so that I create a weakness on b6. Let's try that. Because the handshake agreement is still there, so. Okay, bishop f6, g takes f. Oh, no, 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 king of 6 here, here, I get rook d6, these things and this, ah, but then you get rook a1, rook h1, rook g1, rook g2, rook f2. Check, 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 check. Rook f2, king g1, rook f2. Nee, but am I, am I lost there? I'm, I'm just not sure, maybe I'm missing something. Uh... Oh wow, he goes to a path. No, but then I cannot lose. I was worried about rook a1 king here. After rook d6, I was worried about rook a1. I go king h2, rook h1 here, here, here. Rook g2, king h1. I was worried that he takes the pawn by get king g1. Rook g2, king f1. This is hanging. Also, the rook may hang, so that was the idea. And he got scared of it, and he now begs for the handshake agreement. I think h4 fixing his pawns should be fine okay yeah, he's now just waiting 
I mean, I suppose it shouldn't hurt to... Should I bring my king around like this and then like f3? Should I go... Yeah, I think though. I think so. It's interesting. <coughs> king g3. f3. Bishop d5. Take, take. Rook here. Rook e3. Rook d5. Rook e3. I'll win a pawn, but that's a dead draw. Mm, yeah, I'll do it. You cannot step away from the handshake agreement, can you? It's good that I have a double attack, so perhaps he'll just go king e6. I know use here. The question is, is he trying to lose this, or am I trying to lose this? Oi, chat. Oi, oi. Maybe I'm trying to lose this chat. <laughs> okay, I think I should advance my king, king g4. So king d6, I have like rook f7 or something. Oh gosh. Is he trying to... 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 break our handshake agreement? Unacceptable. You gotta punish him. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, but yeah, I, I definitely I had some simple draw for sure. After rook c3, just play rook e5. <laughs> and I'm trying to lose this. No, well, I'm trying not to lose this, but it looks like I am. I want to take this pawn, but it feels like I give him too much time. Can h5, c3, though maybe I'm fine there. Maybe I'm just so overthinking and I should just be critting and play king h5, take this pawn. Takes. King h5, c3, rook g1. And like rook c1. And then I have a lot of passers. Look, well, king g6? King g6, f5? I'm gonna try that actually, because like, why not? Yeah, this, but... Eh. And he gets this. Ah, oh, that's tricky, actually. Huh. This is very tricky. So, but I, I think I cannot lose this after I play king g7 and just push. Mm. But yeah, this he gets king g5 and he's protecting and he's pushing. Uh huh. Tricky play. I think I should just play h take a six king g7 and push the Harry the h pawn. King g7 and push. Yes, he's checking me. Uh, but I think I can even go here, I can go there. I don't want to play king h6 to be in the way, on the way of my pawn. In the way of my pawn. c2. Oh, am I losing? No, I mean, I, I cannot. Can I? Rook c1. Rook c1, king g6, f5. If he goes after rook c1, he goes here. Now you find this, 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 this. This is not losable, is it? <laughs> I hope not. It's tricky. I simply have rook g5, rook c5. That cannot lose for sure. Rook g5, king f6, rook c5. If king g6, I always have... A, yeah, I think that's the best move. And maybe it's not, but from human point of view, I think it is. Okay, push. Push, push. Why not? Why not at least scare him? King g7. King g6. King g yeah. Mamma mia. <laughs> Sneaky little guy we got. Oh well, okay, yeah, but that's a draw. Yeah, it was a little scary, but I think I, I think I handled it well. Oh my goodness, he's not playing this for 30 million years. Let's go. And the handshake agreement has been, has been agreed. <laughs> we agreed to the handshake agreement chat. Yeah, I think it was pretty smooth. I think neither of us had advantage. I just, maybe I was, yeah, I think I was slightly worse. But I, I liked how, uh, that I had compensation for this pawn. 
97.4 for me, 97.10 for him. Zero brain moves for each of us, zero great moves for, uh, no, one great move for each of us. 34 best move for me, 33 for him. Seven excellent for me, nine for him. Five good move for me, two for him. Four book moves for each of us, five next for me, four for him. Two mistakes for me, zero for him, zero miss for him, uh, for me, one for him, and zero blunders for each of us. And c5 is better than like b4. What should I have? I what should have? I what how should I have played? What have? Ah! Ooh, my English is terrible. What should have I? What should have? What should I've played? Right? What did I? Ah! I don't know. My English is terrible, guys. Sorry. <laughs> What have what did I need? I mean what did I need to play makes sense, but I don't know what should have I played. I mean it somewhat makes sense but it doesn't as well. Yes, Rook C yeah, I played very well. And King H6 is the best Yeah, I actually played the end game perfectly. Cool. Pretty nice, 3315. Nice. I'm I mean I'm happy I played endgame with accuracy of 99.7. He also played with the same accuracy. Oof, played 97.5, he played 95.1, and middle game 93.3, and he played 95.1. Alright, Nelson lies against Ferran 1856, 1-1 for him, and Sidney Lille for me. Yes, I, I never seen Bishop G4 actually in practice. Bishop B3, I mean, Bishop G4 was... I've seen it, but I haven't seen that. Here, Stokely says I should have castled and then taken ED, F5, and get more or less the same position I got in the game, but that my king protects the weaknesses. It's an interesting idea. Yeah, he should have taken with the rook. I was surprised that he isolated his own pawn. Then the position was very, very equal. G4 inaccuracy, he should have played rook C1. Yeah, but I would be worried if I'd be white. Rook H8, rook H2. Alright, but yeah, per perhaps after F4... This rook, uh, bishop of two, there is nothing. Makes sense. Yeah, g4 inaccuracy, I got slight edge. And then rook c5, yeah, he, dc was a mistake. He should have taken knight c5. If knight f5, rook c1, he sacrifices this pawn, but his knight blocks two of my pawns. This is a weakness, and he has good compensation for the pawn, and it's equal. This is his a4, and then king c4 was a blind, and he should have played king to e2. Perhaps, yes, knight c3 was maybe a slight inaccuracy, I should have played knight before, just don't let him any chances, but I think I, this was winning as well. What I played in the game. King g6, rook two c3, yeah, that's a draw. Yeah, so offer spiel loses, and super chess will be uh, one match win uh, away from everybody else, so almost guaranteed top one. This and then I pushed, he had no checks, I pushed, and here he blundered Queen Trade and he resented with him, Ferran 1850. So yeah, I played very well. I'm happy. Yeah, he should have played knight c5 and king 2. Download draw. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. That was a very, very good game. I'm really, really happy with it. Like, slowly I created practical, practical. Even though Stockfish says he was plus 0.5 from the position, I would never say that he's plus 0.5, honestly. This take, 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 take. And yes, it takes D was an inaccuracy. After castle, it would be actually just even slightly better. With zero of like a five, bing, bang, bong, takes, it's equal. CD is an inaccuracy from me, which should played rook d4, he would be slightly better. My pawns are weak, yeah, he's definitely better, and he doesn't have a weakness or anything. This is, I decided to castle short. Stockfish says that I should have castled long. But I liked to castle short. Uh, this is this. I was interested. Yes, knight c5 was a slight inaccuracy. Uh, he should have played knight c3 or rook c3 or whatever. Or like bishop f2. Or like rook c1. Bringing my knight here and then knight c5 and it would be slightly better. Which I uh, move I was interested about. Instead of a5. 
there was an interesting move for rook to e3. I suck an exchange and I take. But what I didn't like is that he takes, takes, takes a6. And you have good passage while I have weaknesses. And I think you would be slightly better. Because as we say, I'm better or winning. He also has this as well. Yeah, takes, takes. And these three hang and it's equal. So I decide not to go for anything crazy. And I just decided to play a safe move a5. This, this. Sure, he was slightly better. But then bishop e7, h5, creating play, making him uncomfortable. G4 was an inaccuracy. He should have played rook c1, bishop d6, f4, with just complete equality. I cannot break through. Rook e, gf, rook f5, knight e4, bishop d6, h3, bishop f4, rook c3, take, take, knight e7, king e2. It was like a really risk free position, I think, for me. So rook c5 takes, and this was a mistake. Should have taken knight c5. And then after knight f5, go rook c1, rook d5, knight e4, knight e4, takes, knight e6, f4, rook f5. Then he gets here, here, knight g5, takes, king of rook f4, he takes h4 with equality. Yeah, I'm a pawn, but I, as this pawns are doubled, I, I don't have anything. Rook d1, this knight d5, this king e6. A4, yet another big, big mistake. Should have played knight to f2, only move. And then after king e5, go knight d3. Here, f4. And king e4, now he gets a4. King e4 is a mistake, he gets this with b4. And it's, he has compensation. It's unclear, I'm gonna say. Uh, but I should have played knight before. Knight e5, this here. Knight a2, and I would be better. Yeah, but after a4, the game was very... was decided already. Knight c3, push d4. This is this. I gave him some checks. I managed to win a pawn, actually, with a check. Then I pushed my pawn, and here he blundered queen trade. And it was in better on 18.15. So, that was a more or less good stream. If we don't take into account the puzzle solving, it was a very good stream, I'm gonna say. Puzzle solving was a very tilting, very screamy, and very ragey. Um, sorry about that, but yeah, it was just a little annoying to, to like, in more than half of the puzzles, see the right idea, but right wrong move order and you fail the puzzle. Minus 50, but that happens, it's fine. Uh, good game against Komodo, though, very good game against Life Opponent. And yeah, puzzle rating. I once dropped. I once dropped in the last 30 days, but I also dropped quite a lot. It's quite some time ago, then I got back, get the rating back if we take uh, one year. As you can see, I was like 3800, I dropped to 37. Then I got to 3900. And then, yeah, I was dropping, but still pretty nice. Nonetheless, thanks to everybody for watching, by the way. Don't forget to join the Discord to not miss some well team and what I'll see. Happy weekend, everybody. Take care, everybody. Bye, Karma. Bye, Logan. Thanks, Logan, for 250 bits. And once again, good luck in your OTB tournament. Bye, Harry O.S. Born. Bye, Milad. Bye, Pookie. Bye, Chess Fanatic. Bye, Manu Spurs. And everybody who was here, have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you all tomorrow. Have a fantastic weekend. And take care, everybody. And bye-bye.